I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful bubble sanders as I promised you from the last week. So this bubble sanders is inspired from my childhood memory. When I was a kid, I really liked um, bubble baths with my grandma. Um, she just passed away a few days ago. Which also reminded me something that we should cherish whatever we have now and uh, we should spend more time with our family. And even though there's a lot of things we want to do, but life is short. We, we should spend more time with family. That's what I feel. So now it's the time to show you how to make these beautiful bubble shoes. Let's go! Today I'm going to show you how to make my bead sanders. First of all, I you need to get ready some tools like you see here and some bubble bee. And then we need to mark um, on the sander uh, where you want to do the hole. Once you mark everything on this centerpiece, you use this tool to do the hole by your hand, one by one. I got this tool from Donner Street Store. Um, I think you can get it from anywhere craft store. Then I cut uh, my front of the centerpiece. So I can use that as my back part the, with the plastic one and I'm keeping to mark the hole and then do the hole later on this too. So uh, once you do the hole, this piece is going to be your back strap, not the front. So I'm using uh, my needle to go through the hole one by one with the bead. So the bead size I use the 1.4 cm. The biggest one and the R one is 1 cm and the middle size is 1.5 cm. You uh you can I use like three size different size bubbles so my sandal will look like more cooler to me and you can use the same size if you want depend on your personal opinion So once you finish the front one, um, you're going to do this the same use the, for the back strap and then you uh, go around one of the bead. So we are going to make the front strap, mm, not front, sorry, I think the center strap. <laughs> so this one I'm using um, just the, the bead and the, the thread. I don't do the hole on that because uh, on the middle one it's easier it's easier to use the thread it goes through everywhere so um, I choose use the bead and the, the thread as the front one so I connect everything together here and uh, tie a knot once you finish it and that's all so our bead sandal almost done. 
yeah so excited yeah that is